Okay, I guess I better get this on my camera. I've had it for a couple weeks, and I've carried it. And you know, here's the thing. I mean, no, I'm not. I'm not the ultimate small, gent carry kind of guy. But um, you know, it was running like 90 degrees for a few days, and this. I mean, you got light summer clothing on, and you don't want you know, a 500 pound knife in your pocket, not even a 300 pound knife, by the way. Uh, but this is just so easy to grab. It's so light. And then also it looks classy. It's the Bakaruda, the <laughs> Barracuda. Um, Parsons Blade Works right here is the designer on this and it's an S30V blade and it's titanium and it's got blue uh, anodized uh, hardware, uh, pocket clip, backspacer, surround on the pivot, blah, blah, blah. Okay, got jimping on top. There you go. And it's got pretty good ergos here because it's so neutral, so you can just kind of tuck in there. Uh, can you really go forward? Kind of, you can sneak up here if you want. I don't know. Well, this is probably a Kubi thing here. Cut Kubi. You're cut, dude. Okay, it's, yeah, it's, okay. I'm just a cut test. I mean, this is not a cutting demonstration or anything. Just, I'm just checking. Uh, yeah, it's sharp. Um, interesting design, isn't it? Uh, you know, when I go, Barracuda, hold on. Somebody else has got a Barracuda somewhere. Uh, but it was best tech and it was a g10 knife and it doesn't look anything like this but i kept thinking there's one that looks pretty much like this but then i couldn't find it so i might have been dreaming uh, you know the, the kind of this little you know repeat pattern here is kind of cool the pocket clips not bad and it goes in and out of my pocket okay so there's no complaints there and then a real stealth little area to run a lanyard if you want to make it all fancy boy with maybe a little leather strap there you weave and you're going hey i got high society uh knife here because this baby is not they ain't giving it away let's see it only costs uh 35 dollars whoops hold on well hold on you can get 23 dollars and 50 cents off though um on kubi knives on Geo Knife, on White Mountain Knife, all three of those sites carry Kubi knives. So if you don't find it on one, and sometimes it might be on sale on one and not on the other or something like that, it happens. It's not real common, but it happens. So check the three sites out and use, I'll put all three discount codes down below and a link to the site, Kubi, Geo, White Mountain. So you can check it out. Um, Here's your stats. So it's seven and a half inches overall, 3.38 inch blade length, which is pretty, you know, about 3.4 inch blade, not bad for 7.4 inch overall, and very light, 2.8 ounces. It's a liner lock, it's titanium, it's flat grind, it's S30V, and it can, you know, um, as a front flipper, it's pretty easy to operate, or at least I find it to be so. And I'm not like the ultimate front flipper uh, guru here. And I'm, I'm not necessarily a huge front flipper fan either. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm much of a flipper flipper fan. Depends on how stealth or how muted the flipper tab is and kind of how it's done. Um, I'm, I'm really liking a lot of access lock and button lock and those kinds. But yeah, this one's really easy to kick open and there, therefore here's where your flipper tab tucks in. So it does give you some uh, jimping there. It's more of a feel up here, really. And I mean, the good thing is look at their contact patch here. So you don't have a flipper tab underneath doing this kind of crap. You're right here. So, I mean, you know, it can do a lot of chopping and different things. You're getting a lot of contact there. And it's so lightweight. And let's go ahead and check that. But 2.8 ounces at almost a 3.4 inch blade. There you go. 
I mean, 79, what'd they say, 80 ounces? And let's roll it around to ounces. I mean, grams, I'm sorry, ounces, 2.8. Okay, grams, ounces, grams, ounces. So, yes, and let's put it up against blue. What do you think, blue? Well, you bigger. You bigger at eight and a quarter. So, really, how long is this? And if I could find my damn tape, here it is. Um, uh, I don't know if I'd call that 3.4. That's three and a quarter there. Now, if you want to crawl down under here, okay, you could go 3.4 at maybe 85, anywhere between, you know, 82 and 85 millimeter blade length. There's seven and a half, so I wouldn't call it 7.4 at a full 19 centimeters and let's kick this over let's see how much we got 0.46 so this is the exact almost the exact same width as like a paramilitary 2 0 0.45 0 0.46 so uh and but the blade stock i'll bet you and let's get it on the fat side get around here get it on the fat side right here net, 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 net. okay uh, 0 0.11 at what? Three millimeter. Okay, there you go. Three millimeter. Very light. Um, liner lock. As you can see, the lockup is pretty good. It's 40% uh, really. Easy to disengage across through here. And it drops. Uh, even though that blade's really light, it still kicks away. You know? Uh, you might be able to uh, modify the pressure on on this uh, pivot and maybe it would drop more guillotine-ish than it does here. So it can completely dig into your thumb and cut part of it away. But right here is pretty nice because it ain't hitting my thumb, but it is disengaging from the detent ball so I can shake it down and it's centered. I got no blade player to lock rock. I mean, Kubi does a good job. They, they get, they, I mean, I think they do a good job manufacturing. I think the fit and finish looks really good. Um, you know, and the problem is you've got such precise machinery available globally that, you know, if you know how to run it and you know what the hell you're doing, you know, it's it's not that difficult to get this kind of thing made. But, okay, and kind of a bead blast looking on the blade. Um, yeah. Uh, it's, it's not a bad looking knife either, is it? Uh, I think Parsons did a good job on this. It's nice that Kubi's doing a lot of collaborative stuff. And they are. So... Uh, you know, if I was a knife company, that's be what I'd be doing, collaborative stuff, a lot of collaborative stuff, because you got designers out there all over the place, and you're getting designs from a lot of these guys for very little money, uh, and so you got, you know, having, you know, a hundred different brains working on designs better than having one or two in-house, so, yeah, that's really good. But yeah, uh, I can get all my fingers on here and ergos are fine. Reverse grip is fine as well. Where's my balance on here? Okay, that's good. Um, design flow. Well, I mean, you know, of course, this is intentional. Otherwise, right in here and blade to handle length is right there. In fact, I can't catch the tip but I can kind of get my finger really close in there so it's all that they could put in there and the backspacer is nice too and it's not just plain plain at least it's got a little bit of interest there the way they did that and then they kind of carried that to this and then also this fuller on the scale I mean it's just you know interesting to me when you really look at a knife, how little things, little design cues really pick up the overall look and attractive uh, design on a knife. You know what I mean? And the little teardrops around here, this and that. Had it not had any of that, where would we be? You know, just little things you can do. And that's one thing I don't, I don't know that my brain works in that direction. So 
but yeah, it's, it's nice to pay attention to some of the details to enhance the design. Now, you know, I'm always bitching and moaning about number eights. Okay, uh, I don't think that's, oh, that's a number eight. So number eight for everything here. Wow, even on a small, super lightweight knife. Uh, you know, and you know, I've been screaming about that on all my videos, so uh, somebody's listening. And it comes in a box. And what kind of box does it come in? With a bigger ca camo pouch. I mean, this is stiff and tough, and so at least you can say you got that. And then you get um, microfiber cloth and a little paper tag here. And I don't know, is that a thing you can scan? Yeah, you can scan the little deal and register. But um, yeah, I, 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 these are solid. And so I like this. I mean, it beats not having a pouch, that's for sure. So here's the inside, boom. And yeah, I guess I had to cut this away, right? Yeah, because they come sealed, right? So I had to just cut that away to get the knife out of the uh, plastic that was inside. So go figure on that one. And then I'll show you the bottom here. Um, right there, the KU-299. That's what she is. Not too shabby. Uh, and, and if you like classy looking gent carry knives, then I, I think this is good. I, I don't know. I mean, I think it'd be yeah a little bit better if this is either more muted, like up and down here, or not even there at all. I mean, and then Parsons. Okay, that's cool. I'm, I'm good with that. And then the kind of blade steel. So... Uh, that may be the only thing that's just a little too obvious, but tell a manufacturer not to not to yell its name, you know? I mean, they're proud of what they do, so I, I don't know. But there's people that, no, they're not, they're not all that good with that. So now we know what size we need to take this apart, right? Number eight. And can we turn it? without turning both sides. And I'm, I think I'm, I'm think I'm unscrewing the front. I'm doing something. Let's push it through. I'm doing this. This is what I'm doing. Okay, so there's a screw here. I wonder if there's a screw on the back or if that's where the whole pivot comes through. Cause I can't take these screws out here, which, you know, I guess I never mentioned before, but no screws. The screws are on the back. And that's another thing that I've always thought if I did a knife, I would attempt to try and minimize the hardware, the screws on it. Um, ooh, I'm gonna have fun. Well, I gotta take this pocket clip off first and then I can get to that, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's another thing, isn't it? You think about it, you go, it is a nice clean look there. Okay, get that off. That is nothing, that is so light. Um, but I like the way they did it. And come on. Okay. Now what are we going to do? I don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, uh, how are we going to do this? Okay. We get this all the way unscrewed. And I think it is. So I think we're gonna have to get a little help from our little friend. Like this, okay, so plastic. Be there or be square, right? And that way you're not hurting anything. You can get these, I got a whole pack of these suckers, like four or five of them, right? On Amazon for nothing, nothing, you know. Uh, but, I mean, they're really helpful in doing this. You do not want to take a metal object, even with a cloth, because a metal object can sometimes pierce the cloth and then scratch the titanium. You know titanium, baby. She scratches good. Um, and we can see why it's light. Uh, weight relieving going on there, and then we got this little, and we can take that baby out just like that with the magnet. 
So that's good. It's clean. Um, let's see this side. And of course, we got ceramic bearings. Let's pull all this off. And we're good. And get your ass out of there. And eh, kind of a heavier, goopier stuff that I'm not big on. But uh, internal blade stop here. And you can see the track it runs on. And this doesn't look like it's going to push out real easy. Okay, it came out. Um, I'm trying to figure out if this would actually just unscrew as well. If we got kind of a three-piece pivot going on here. So there's the lock bar. Um, and... The lock bar, of course, is steel, and it's held down here, okay? So this all can come out, but so the thing is you don't, I don't know if it's worth taking it off or not, but uh, it's all held down this way, and it's steel, so you don't need a hardened steel insert because it's a liner lock, that looks like kind of a frame lock, but then they didn't have to cut the crap out of the back side to make it a frame lock. But you can still kind of make it look like a full titanium, almost frame lock, but it's a liner lock. So, I mean, I like that. It's a good thing. Presentation side, lock bar side, um, blade, it goop, gooped up. Don't like that. Okay. And then, um, yeah, ceramic bearings. Not, nothing to write home about on the ceramic bearings, technically, but okay. it's They are what they are, and what are you going to put in a knife this small and light? So, okay. I guess we'll put it, when we put it back together, these screws are falling out. Uh, uh, when we put it back together just like this, I guess we're going to put it back together from the lock side, from the lock bar side. Let's and put our blade in just like this. Roll it around. Okay. And then uh, give me that. Give me that. And then uh, I've got a washer that goes on top of here. And then we can lay this layer on top and lock it down. As long as we can rest that. Okay, we got that. Okay. Um, and, of course, that little screw fell out from the other side, but that's okay. We'll deal with him later. Ooh. Let's get that locked in place. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't laid down as far as it needed to be, but it is now come hell or high water and then this screw in here and it just lays right in like that now we got a pocket clip so and that goes into a machined area so it's not going to move around even though it's a single screw because it's into its own little area there so we're good and are we centered? Yeah. Will it flip? Um, hold on. Ooh, baby. Oh, mama. I got it. I got it locked good. Hold on. We're, we're doing this from the front, aren't we? We're going to give it a little. We're going to ease up on it. I think we, I think we definitely gave it some, a little bit too much torque down on there. I'm just going to bring it little by little until it starts coming back to where it was. And there it is. And still centered. Fine. Um, let me see if it's... No, no play. Okay, so I just had it. I just had it torqued down a little too hard. All right, it's good now. All right, back with the Kubi barracuda and we've got you know the royal and we got some others too there's uh you know uh that i will be doing in the future but the kubi royal 
interesting. Also a front flipper G10. They got a cleaver thing. This comes in a blue G10 as well, by the way. And then they've changed the drake and made it smaller. And it's not contoured, but there's different colors and all this kind of stuff. That's my buddy Max, D2. So these are, you know, some just user, uh, inexpensive budget type knives that they're doing. And, uh, man, I forgot. Uh, the car... Kiraji, yeah. And this comes in several different blade shapes as well. So, I mean, uh, I'll be putting these on my channel. Uh, this is, it comes in a drop point as well as this. So, this, these are really some interesting new additions to the Kubi lineup. So, they've done some stuff recently, haven't they? And they, you know, they usually come out pretty, pretty regularly with new models. I'm going to let you go. You know what we do. We love them my knives, guys. And uh, sub to my channel if you would be so kind. And stay sharp.